It's extermination day, cardio day, fat burning day out here in the post-apocalyptic wastelands of your hometown. We're gonna do some cardio, we're gonna do some sprints. Sprints are optimal to help you run away from zombies more so than probably sustained cardio or walking on a treadmill would be. First, we're gonna warm up our hips. It's very important. Find a stable surface, stand on a sewer, embrace the wilderness. That's how we're gonna warm up with one leg firmly planted into the ground, the other knee up, hip openers, five in each direction. Like you have a little zombie head there, stepping over it, and then five the other way. You don't have to be fancy, you can do whatever. You can even grab onto a nearby tree or hanging corpse if that fits your liking. Just making sure our hip flexors are fired up, especially if we're sitting all day and they're tight, you know, just devising your plans to conquer the apocalyptic wasteland. Gotta open up the hips, man. Now I'm gonna post up against this real sturdy tree here and do some hip swings, five in each direction. I'll show you. Kick out to the side and through, right? So you let your hips swing like the pit and the pendulum. Imagine your foot, it's like a giant swinging saw and there's somebody strapped to a table down there and you're gonna cut them in half eventually. Flip and do to the front like a, an exaggerated Frankenstein. We'll be running fast and walking hard. Same thing on the other leg. It's gonna get your gluteus medius. Zombies have been known to like that part. Yeah, uh. same thing. I'm gonna get it from the back. You're punting zombie babies all day long. I suggest a general warm up. Could be a 10 minute jog. Could be a five minute, three minute shadow boxing session. Jump rope if you got it. I'm gonna choose the shadow box. It's where I, where I sleep. It's where I eat. It's where I box. Should do the same. You'd be afraid to get it at you know, no limit. You don't know where they're coming from. Gotta stay prepared. You can't worry about what you look like to your passerbyers. I know you play Mortal Kombat. I know you've seen John Wick. I know we're obsessed with Bruce Lee. We're gonna get into some more dynamic stretching. Be right back. Who knows where we'll be? Who knows if we'll even be alive? Now we're gonna do some walking lunges, which are probably the most important part of your sprint warm up because they're gonna nail down the correct form in your skull. There are five focal points of movement acceleration. We don't have time to get into the science and nitty gritty of it, but I'm gonna do a quick rundown. First of all, your arms are gonna be locked at 90 degrees. Like, hello, I am a robot. Your hands are gonna be placed hip to lip. When we run, that is where you switch. Like switch, 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 switch. You're gonna raise your thigh up to hip height, knees at 90 degrees. Your toe is dorsiflexed, that means it's pointed up. And from there, we're moving opposite arm and opposite legs. Your left leg's up, your right arm's up. That will propel you further to get away from your enemies of undead infected. Check this out. Now we walk in lunge, then switch. So we want to take about 20 steps. So if these lunges aren't challenging enough for you because you're a badass lifting dead warrior, perhaps you want to challenge your balance a little more, in which we can take this lunge and combine it with a yoga move, a half moon. Check this out. So we're coming up, standard lunge, plant, deadlift, twist open to the side, balance here, continue on your path towards walking lunge domination. <laughs> We're going to start in a three-point stance. When you come up, engaging your sprint, bring that back knee up like your knee in a zombie straight in the head, exploding its brains everywhere. We start here. We're going to run. You ready? I'm ready. I'm on top of the apocalyptic race world through our extermination day sprinting cardio techniques. You're welcome. So if you happen to be roaming the wasteland on your cardio days, and find yourself a prime box jumping opportunity, such as an abandoned cinder cement block, 
I suggest you take full advantage of that shit. You could also leave your leather jacket on for an extra 15 pounds, like a weighted vest simulation. I know I carry weights and blood in my leather jacket. Adds at least 20 pounds. Anyway, continue, continue to do some box jumps like this. You bust out like five sets of 10. 50 box jumps. Zombies can't jump high either. Pro tip. Neither can white people, obviously. Get high, jump high. I like to call this workout the Tombstone Cinder Block Smasher. Grab a cinder block, smash it. You're tired as fuck. This will simulate a medicine ball slam. Only way cooler, way harder. Makes you look super friendly. Saying you can even break a cinder block in the process. Your neighbors will love you. I will love you. And all the zombies will fear you. Imagine that going at your dome piece at 100 miles an hour. So a great way to get some cardio in the graveyard is to dance on some graves with a jump rope. Great for your zombie killing endurance, stamina, power. I like to do sets of a minute. This is a weighted rope, so it challenges your shoulders a little bit more. If you're super advanced, you can mix it up on the one foot, both foot. Every once in a while, our boxing techniques come in handy. Save yourself from a horde of undead with death comes lifting. You okay, buddy? <laughs> <laughs>